talking about this presentation uh, about the SOLIDWORKS and ANSYS Workbench. This is going to be an introduction to both these uh, software programs, uh, mainly because the integration that we have between SOLIDWORKS and ANSYS uh, works relatively smoothly. A couple assumptions up front for SOLIDWORKS. I assume you've already had a basic uh, working knowledge of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, if not, this will be it might be real quick for, for what you're experiencing, but uh, hopefully it's more of a refresher uh, for how to interact and, and do things in SOLIDWORKS. And then some specific things, how SOLIDWORKS works with ANSYS. Um, I expect when we go into ANSYS Workbench, it'll be the first time for you, so I'll take my time going through that. But I just want to give you that heads up up front of what we're doing here. And all we're doing this time is just working through a problem. So here's a problem for uh, several parts shown below. They're all very similar. Let me scroll down here so you can see them. All right, so just variations on a theme. All right, so very basic shape here to start. So for all those parts, uh, units are in inches. Determine the design which best relieves stress. Uh, we want to make the original part have a small radius of 0.1 inches at the inside reentry corner, so right here where the hand's at, in both these locations. Uh, so if it has those reentry cores, it's uh, 0.1 radius uh, there, and if not, it's, it won't, like in this case. Uh, place a uniform pressure load of 1,000 PSI on the right end of each part and fix the left end. So fix the left end here. Uh, all units, again, are taken in inches. Let the material be structural steel. All right, so we got the modulus and the Poisson's ratio for that. And the thickness of all designs be 0.5 inches thick. So that's the dimension coming out of the page. Again, oh, sorry, I didn't mention, if you go down into the, uh, the notes, uh, there's a link to the uh, Google Drive folder, which has us in the notes folder, subfolder of that. Uh, so you can access and, and get this, uh, which would be good because I'm not going to refer back to this. I have a copy next to me, and so that's what I'll be going off of and looking at dimensions. We're going to be looking at uh, developing this one, uh, this particular design. Um, I'm going to call it Design 5, Part 5, during this lecture. So if you want to follow on, that's specifically what I'm going to look at here. Just to highlight, uh, as before we get started, this should be 0.125, so I didn't get the actual um, all three digits showing there, and I'll show you how to do that in SOLIDWORKS. Um, also, at the, here at the bottom, it'll summarize what we're going to do. I'll zoom out here. Uh, it's going to summarize what we do in, to import into ANSYS. So we're going to go through all this process here. The biggest thing to note as we, as we do this is this is the kicker here. So um, at least the license that I'll be using, which is the um, introductory... Uh, teaching license, so CFD mechanical teaching license. Uh, we're restricted to 256 nodes. Now we're, gonna, we're not going to go anywhere close to that this time, but uh, just to note, um, for those of you using an educational piece of software, uh, you're restricted there. All right, so again, you feel free to look at these. I'm going to zoom in here, get a better idea what we're looking at here before we jump into SOLIDWORKS. Um, so we have the overall structure of the main one uh, that was uh, looked at up top. We're going to have this, we want the 0.1 inch. Uh, radius fills here, um, and then we have two holes, relief stress holes here and here. And so I'm going to basically use some symmetry, uh, exploit the symmetry we have in this. So draw this top half, this being the symmetry line here, and then we'll uh, mirror image across with that. 